Hey guys, Crystal Thompson here for Studio Cadia. I'm so excited to show you one of the newest releases from Studio Cadia. We're going to be using the Icy Sparkle Crystals along with the Autumn Borders. We're creating some ink blended dotted apple shaker in the half tone dots for our background. This is another way to use shaker um, dies for something else. You're going to need some olive cardstock and a couple colors of Distress Oxide, Wild Honey, the candied apple and the vintage photo. So let's begin and get started. So I have my apples and I've cut four of these and I run them through my Gemini and I'm going to ink blend these with the vintage photo. So we're just going to kind of dab those colors onto the stems of the apple. You do want to do this on a piece of cardstock because the stress oxide can be kind of difficult to clean up. We're going to begin with our first apple. So think about where the shading of the apple comes from. On my case, it's going to come off from the right. So we're going to begin by adding that darkest color and then blending that color down and really creating this beautiful ombre gradient color, which makes the apples really pop. We're going to add that water to let that Distress Oxide react with that water and then we're going to let that dry. We're going to move on to Wild Honey, which is kind of an orangey. So this is going to be our honey crisp apple, right? We are going to start at the bottom, blending up to, to the top. Be sure not to add any water prior to blending. Oh, you see what happens. You get a little dot there, but we're going to mask that by adding some more water and then allowing that to dry. So we're going to move that out to the side. And then last but not least, we're going to come in with our Twisted Citrone, which is a really bright green. This is going to be our granny apple. And starting from the left, bringing our color down to the very bottom of the apple. So when selecting a color for a green apple, I really wanted to make it different than what we would be using for the leaves. And the reason why is that I don't want the leaves in the apple to be the same color. So we're going to splatter some water onto that and let it dry. Again, I have three leaves and we're going to be using a different kind of green and starting at the very edge of the leaf and then bringing that color into the interior part of the leaf to really create that beautiful gradient. And honestly, this is so, so easy and I just loved creating other things with shaker components. All right, on to creating the sentiment strip. So I'm using the Happy Thanksgiving from the Autumn Border stamp set. I'm going to ink it up and then I'm going to come in with some white embossing powder and we're going to cover that whole thing. Being very careful not to spill it all over the place. So I'm going to do the first half and then I'm going to come in and do the second half, shaking any excess off and being sure that I covered everything so it's a nice, thick, happy Thanksgiving when we go to heat set it. I'm gonna bring in my Wagner heat tool and heat set the whole thing. And I really love showing everybody how we heat set and the reason why is just it really changes that embossing powder into this beautiful, solid stamp set. So now we are going to move on to putting our card together. So I have the half dotted die cut out from the same cardstock of the craft. So we're going to have a two layer craft. I'm going to place it over the other piece of craft and I'm using double amounts of foam. So two layers of foam to really raise that. Then I'm going to come in with all my apples and I have put some foam adhesive on the back and we're going to start layering them first. We begin with our green apple going to put our red one and I thought that I really wanted that red over on the front just because it's so bright and so festive. Then I'm going to come in with our little honey crisp apple and place it on the other side of the red one. So at this point they kind of look like hearts so we are going to add the first of the um, leaves and I've added some square pre-cut foam to this. And it just makes it really easy and very nicely instead of having to cut a bunch of little foam pieces. We're going to add that last one to our green apple. And then we are going to add the stems to these apples. So for the stems, I am not going to use any foam because I just felt that it's too hard. So we're just using little drops of the liquid mono aqua liquid mono glue, which is just a clear glue. And as you can see, I have the little droplets right in the center. And then I'm going to place 
my little stems ready to go. All right, next step, I have my happy Thanksgiving strip. I have placed some foam adhesive on the back of that as well. And then we're placing it right on the center over those apples. And it just makes it super fun and super happy. It does need a little bit of an embellishment. So I'm going to come in with my Studio Cadia glue. And I'm going to add my drops first. And the reason why is that this really shows you where you're going to put all your embellishments. And then it's easy to come in with your pickup tool. In this case, mine's a Crystal Katana. And I'm grabbing those icy crystals and placing them over the Studio Cadia. So as you can see, the Studio Cadia glue right now is white, which makes it super nice to be able to place your embellishments. But do not worry, it does dry clear. And it's going to be super pretty. And it's just going to give the whole card a very nice shimmery. Yet it's very simple and allowing those apples to really stand out. So as I finish up, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. This is Crystal Thompson for Studio Cadia. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to use shaker card components for other purposes by ink blending. Thank you so much. Have an amazing day.